Taurus. Come out to play. Hey, my bulls. What is going on? What's going on, Taurus? Oh, my God. I hope that these eclipses have treated you well. And I hope this message finds you good, well, and in good spirits. Okay. Now, if you clicked on that thumbnail, Taurus, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame, honeys. I am Oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Hey, happy September. Again, I sincerely hope that you survive these eclipses. What is being done or what's going to be done, you are at peace with, okay? I certainly see, based on your reading here, that we are in the last stages of this heavy energy, um, this could be as a result of the eclipse or not. Nah, OK, or not. Nah. Needless to say, Taurus, I'm happy to be here reading for you and I have good news for you as well. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. Taurus, this is going to be your September 2018. How does Bay feel about you for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? OK, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, hello, hello, hello. And if you are currently subscribed to my marvelous tribe, ow, okay, and bonke. This is that part of the show where I ask if you care to skip this marvelous intro. The reading will start at such and such time, which, which will be linked down in the description below. For the rest of you guys who want to hear me ramble and know how I get down, let's rock, okay? You know, I start all my videos out with gratitude. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all from the moon and back. Thank you for your likes, sharing my content and subscribing to my tribe. For those of you guys who have booked me for a personal reading, thank you for putting me in your business and let's continue to do business now. And lastly, I want to give each and every one of you guys a sincere thank you for your viewership. All right. Let's get into this contest. I am very excited to announce I'm going to be running a contest in the month of September where I will be giving away 12 free level one personal readings. If you want to know what a level one personal reading is, please click or go on social media and go to my schedule or page where I break down the different readings that I offer. This is a level one personal reading. I will be randomly picking one winner per zodiac sign and the winners will be chosen based upon the interest that you express down in the comment section. In other words, it's more like a first come first serve as usual. OK, you guys should know that, but it's still free. All right. Simply by saying that you're interested in receiving your free reading down in the comments will entitle you to one if you are chosen. Now, there's a few obligations. Let's get into these contest rules, because if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Now, get ugly, uh, Tauruses. Now, first and foremost, you have to subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I, this is your incentive to do so. You're getting something free out the deal. So I appreciate you for doing that. OK, you have to like the video that you watch. Obviously, if you don't want if you don't like it, then you wouldn't subscribe or even want a free reading. I understand that. But if you do, OK, I'm here for you. OK, then the last but not least, you have to follow me across my other social media platforms such as Facebook, IG, Pinterest and Twitter. OK, once all that's done, screenshot and or copy paste the information to me at readings via email at readings at marvelousmadam.com. And once I have confirmed, I will send you my schedule or link along with the coupon uh, code that uh, that's going to entitle you to your free reading. And you just go on the schedule and schedule it. It's that simple. All right. There's always another side to the coin. So for those of you guys who are not tech savvy, don't have all of these social media platforms, only have a few or whatever your parameters are that do not fit inside of uh, the contest rules. You can still qualify. So hit me up. OK, via email at readings at marvelous dot com and we will discuss it. You and I. OK, we're not going to put our business out in the street if you want the free reading. Hit me up anyway and let me know which one of these parameters you could not meet and we will still discuss it. OK, good luck, guys. And I certainly am looking forward to connecting with you guys and giving you guys these free readings. This is because I've been getting hit up about the availability on my price on my scheduler. 
and I do um, I also do personal readings outside of YouTube. So I'm available for everyone to see on across these personal these other platforms. And I felt like I wasn't um, focusing on my subbies and my viewers enough. So if you fall in the category of being new, you qualify. If you are returning and you view but you're not subscribed, you qualify. And of course, my tribe, you all you always know that this is what I'm going to do. OK, um, I'm going to be doing something special for everyone that's subscribed as well. But again, each month I bring something new to you. OK, good luck, guys. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the astrology snippet for the month of September. Thank God we are finally at the end of uh, most planets going direct. So that's always a good thing. OK. Always a good thing. Let's go ahead and rock. OK, so Saturn is going to go direct on September the 6th. Thank God. <laughs> Taurus, that's going to be good news for you. OK, get ugly. Um, Venus is going to enter the sign of Scorpio on the ninth, as well as we're going to be experiencing a new moon that night. Ooh, Jesus, the ninth, the 10th and the 11th next week is about to be epic. Woo! I can't wait. I hope and pray it. It really manifests itself in my relationship. Ow, OK, the same night we have a new moon in Virgo on the ninth. Venus enters enter Scorpio on the ninth. And then for some of you guys, that's in your fifth house, your fifth house of love. Ow, OK, set the intentions with the new moon, launch something new with the new moon. Congratulations if something is going to be uh, launched and all that good shit. That is fantastic. Ow. OK, now the sun is going to be shining and Libra, my rising on September 22nd. Happy birthday, Libra. You guys already know you're going to get your your birthday bonus reading and I might do it live. I might do it live for you guys. <clears throat> um, I don't know, but that's I want to do something special for you guys. So I might don't tell everybody that, though. I know I'm saying this on the Taurus video. Get ugly now. <laughs> a full moon in Aries on September 24th things that need to be ended acknowledged or adjusted and released release those things that no longer serve you guys okay bone okay, K Taurus um do your full moon releasing ritual last but not least Pluto is finally going to go direct on September 30th let's rock Go ahead and get into these cards and how I do things. You have a very interesting reading here, Taurus, and I want to get started because with Saturn going direct, um, I believe Saturn has been retrograde in Taurus since May, um, which sucks. It's been it. Yes, it's it, the planet of restriction. It, it has been challenging. Um, I know. So. I am excited to go ahead and talk about the fact that it's finally um, going to go direct. And I know that for some of you guys, it's like, you know, it's it's been it's been challenging for you guys because I know that it was in Capricorn. That's also Earth. So it did. Affect us as well. OK, depending on where you have it now. Let's get into these cards. <sighs> All right. It's five card reading. Two cards represent the most recent past and present. The what just happened or the what's happening now. One card represents the heart of the matter or the what lies beneath. Two cards represent the overall outcome. I'm going to be blending the bottom of the deck energy for a more solidified message. Pulling one card that represents the overall love theme for this month for you, what you could be experiencing in love. And I will be flipping that deck over, which is the Romance Angel Oracle card and blending that deck's energy as well. OK, um, I'm not really liking these cards. Spirit wants you to know this. So I'm going to tell you, Taurus. Your card. Is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Bottom of the deck energy for the romance angel oracle card. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So. 
This is the reason why I like to blend those because to me, this is a very simple message. Codependency is a red flag. Okay. How does Bay feel about you? Well, someone has very codependent nature. Not good. Now, it's good when two people are on the same page, but just with anything, with anything, with anything, there needs to be balance. Let's talk about some signs of codependency. You can't make a decision. You can't identify your feelings. You can't communicate. You care about others' opinions more than you value yourself. You tend to have low self-esteem, lack in trust in yourself. It all boils down to esteem, not believing in yourself, looking for others to give you that, that what you need. Someone has some, uh, and that's an addiction. It doesn't have to be a physical addiction, Taurus, that includes some type of substance. People can be an addiction. People that have to surround themselves around people constantly to make themselves feel a certain way. It's a sign, could be a sign of codependency. Okay. Okay. So. A lot of the times this manifests itself. In a relationship addiction. Relationship addictions, believe it or not, are normally emotionally destructive, abusive sometimes. I really don't want to talk that negative here. And one sided. You that you got to give, 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 give. And this person never reciprocates. That person is codependent. And you see how it works. The irony of codependency cracks me up because it's like on one hand. You can't make a decision without this person. You need reassurance from this person constantly. But at the same time, you can't you want the person not to leave you, but you can't give the person what they need. I love it. Not really, but it's just interesting to me. The irony of life never ceases to amaze me. All right. That's what's going on. Let's go ahead and get rocking. As a result of that, the bottom of the deck energy right here is the seven of clubs. Seven of clubs is the equivalent of the suit of wands. Wands represent fire. Taurus, wands represent fire. The Aries, the Leos, and the Sagittarius, you can be connecting with one. Have it in your chart or surrounded around a very fiery type energy. Okay. And I'm telling you right now that you have one, your main focus is action. Your main focus is action. How does Bay feel about you? The energies can go back or back and forth. I haven't picked up on who this is coming from yet. I, I, I need to look. I need to keep talking. Spirit hasn't given me that information yet. As far as the red flags, I do feel like this is not you. This is your partner. OK. I do feel like that. But as far as the rest of this, um, you are focused on action. So if that's what the energy that you're getting from your partner, I understand why. All right. You, with that being said, are defending yourself. You're attempting to overcome the obstacles that this individual has brought you with their energy with this fucking codependency. And they might even be, this is a fun term, a codependent narcissist. Those are, those people are really, really fun. Really, 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 really fun. <laughs> and I don't mean that because I'm not serious, but yes. Yes. Pleaser fixer, taker controller, narcissist addict. Is beautiful in the beginning right until it's not beautiful anymore so again that's what I see you've been struggling to stay ahead defending yourself defending your positions you want this situation to change you want it to take some action you are sick and tired of the rah-rah 
the going back and forth, the rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, the going back and forth because this person is unable to see your point. This person is unable to see the error of their ways. Hold on, Taurus. They see it. <laughs> they see it. Okay. Let's pop these zodiac signs off. You got fire. You got earth. You got air and you got water. You are the damn magician and you do have the magician here. You are every woman in Taurus. Man, you are every man. You have all of the tools in your arsenal to manifest the abundance that you want or manifest the outcome that you desire. Facts. Okay. The red flag is the codependency. Signs are cautioning you to this person being codependent. I do feel like that is the energy that you are getting. I do not feel like that is what you're giving out, Taurus. But again, I don't know all of you guys. And this is a general reading. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. I don't have to tell you that. I'm going to stop saying it and start dropping it in the description because I don't feel like I should have to say that. My subbies and my viewers, they already know that. That's why you clicked here, because, you know, we keep an open mind. OK. You're dealing with all of the signs. You have one major arcana. That's the magician. I just got to telling you that one major arcana. That is the magician, which is represented also by the, the, the king of clubs. As I stated, action oriented. OK. Your focus, primary function, fo focus is action. After you take the necessary action, your energy is split up into three areas. Three areas. Work, well, split up into three elements. Earth, air, and water. Whichever is the strongest card out of the three that remain, that is where you're going to be manifesting the most. I'll say it again. The way that the energy is laid out here. You are action oriented because you have three action cards in your energy. The cards that remain in your spread are split up into the other three elements. The strongest of this three cards is where you're going to be putting the majority of your energy to manifest the most. Taurus, you better get ugly. And I'm telling you that you're going to be manifesting in love. You're going to have some clicking, trying to get my sage popping. And uh, this ain't working. OK, that's where you're going to be manifesting the most of your energy. You have been defending yourself and you're tired of it. Possibly people talking about you, giving you opinions. Sorry for that noise. Giving you opinions about how they feel like your damn relationship to go. You ain't asked these people shit, did you? You didn't ask them anything, Taurus. They all in your damn business. Okay. Okay. Bay is definitely codependent. Again, I don't know your 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 sp specific placements. But I do know that based on your sun sign, if you are sun sign Taurus, if you are Taurus and have Taurus in any of those planets or placements that I said, I do not think you are prone to that. But again, I cannot base make that general statement confidently without knowing you, because even if something isn't in your nature, there are so many other variables that make you who you are. Let's rock. You are the magician with a strong focus on finances with the four of diamonds. There hasn't been any communication. You are holding back because you've been arguing too damn much. You have the tools in your arsenal to manifest your abundance. You are trying to maintain security, routine, 
and the things in your life that bring you security. You are overly cautious, and I apologize for that noise if that was picked up in the background. Uh, they, they are killing it over here in this part. Now, <laughs> Taurus, whenever there is a preoccupied, whenever you are preoccupied with something else, Something else is neglected. When I see this card, which I just saw, and I did tell you that you're dealing with all zodiacs, you have one major arcana. That's the magician. That's it. You're dealing with every element. You get to manifest what you want. But your focus is on your uh, financial and um, security, your abundance, your tangible security. Okay. That's what you focused on right now. Most recent past and present, the energy, that's your energy. You've been having a, a difficulty staying ahead because you've been defending yourself with these with this damn seven. As a result, you've been overcoming the obstacles. But in the heart and of the heart in the heart of the matter, you have had it. You have absolutely had it because there is your burden. The load has been dumped upon you in this relationship because you have to carry this connection. Again, spirit is cautioning you that to pay attention to the red flags because the red flags is codependency. This person is codependent. Your partner is codependent. Um, your partner lacks self-esteem. Your partner could be a narcissist. Your, you, it could be a lot of give, give, give and not enough take. There is not enough give and take in this union. And you are over it. Absolutely over it, Taurus. You are completely feeling overburdened. You can't take it anymore. You are bound and determined to manifest the outcome that you want. Now, I'm not saying that th there's obviously love here. Your focus as the magician is getting your love relationship back on track. Okay. That's your focus as the magician. And you're burdened with the decision and what to do, but you know what to do, right? With this 10 of wands or a 10 of clubs in the heart of the matter. Let's rock. How do we overcome this? What are we going to do? Well, Unfortunately, we're going to have more quarreling because you paid attention to the red flags and you have been defending yourself. You've been doing a lot of rah-rah like a dungeon dragon. You're tired of it. It has created this burden in your heart. So you've decided to basically go into a financial hermit mode and only focus on the bag right now. However, how this is going to play out is we have the three of swords with the nine of cups. What does this mean to me? This means that you might you are going to be focusing on the wish, focusing on the love It's the wish card. You're focusing or trying to manifest with this magician energy, your emotional and material fulfillment. And in order to do that, you might be moving on to somebody new. I don't see necessarily a breakup. I see conflict. I, I No, I don't see necessarily a breakup. Let me say again. This is sword energy. It's. It's mental. OK. Mentally. You can be separating and you're miserable or this just says that there's going to be some some fighting because you're trying to manifest that emotional and um, and material. The emotional and material fulfillment. But this codependent partner ain't trying to hit it. They like, hold the damn phone. I got to love you back. No, I don't. Who told you that? 
I mean, yeah, I love you. But really? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I got to give and take? No, I don't like the way that sound. Because, see, I'm so miserable. I don't feel good unless you're giving this to me. What part of the game is this, uh, uh, Taurus? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And unfortunately, this is what I see. Now, the action, we don't end in action. Your focus is action. Your focus is fire, but we kind of get stuck in you being the magician. But I feel like with this sword energy here, this person is not going to make it easy for you. I guess I should say that. Okay. The person is not going to make it easy for you because the person is understanding that you're manifesting your happily ever after. But the person realizes that that happily ever after does not include him or her. Pause. The second part of that outcome is that you are going to manifest this nine of cups, but you mentally are understanding that you have to basically break your own heart to get away from this situation. And I sincerely apologize for that, Taurus. This is the last of this energy, though. This is the last of this energy. Um, I feel like there are so many great things that are coming up. Please don't let this discourage you. I don't feel like with this magician energy that you are. You're upset and you're going to be heartbroken to have to separate from this individual. But at the same time, you understand that that's what you have to do. So with this new moon and this full moon and all of this great stuff that we got coming up in September, we are really in like in the beginning of Mars going direct. Mars is not going to be operating until its fullest capacity. It's a sometime in October. OK, there's still love here. You can't unfortunately change a codependent situation. But unfortunately, with this magician and this nine of cups. You could choose to stay and just set some new boundaries. That's really the only thing you can do. Um, there's love here. Okay, there is love here. Um, I think, honestly, you're not going to deal you. Everybody deals with it different, Taurus. But as far as dealing with this codependency, honestly, you just have to get to the point where you and I think that that's exactly what you're going to do. Um, again, two outcomes. You're going this person real. It, it, is, it can only go two ways. You're going to manifest this nine of cups with the without this person, period. Pause. Both of you guys are going to be upset. That's ba I basically said the same thing. The person is going to realize it and there's going to you guys are going to be miserable apart. So the best thing that you can do. When the energy comes back in and pushes you two back together. The only thing you could do is just start being honest. And establish boundaries. If this nine of cups is what you both want, this situation is going to improve. And Taurus, that has been your read. And how does Bay feel about you? I certainly hope the messages resonated with you. Go ahead and drop me a uh, comment down in the description. You know, I will respond to you. I hope and pray that one of my Tauruses, one of you lucky Tauruses wins a free reading with me. I hope that you guys, uh, I can get to connect with some more of you guys, if, especially if you're in my tribe. I have so many new and exciting things coming up. I certainly hope that this eclipse energy 
find you well and in good spirits and that there's nothing but good things and abundance coming to you in the future. OK, Taurus, it's always a pleasure to read for you guys. You know, I have Taurus and my Venus and in my Mars. OK, so happy September. It's always a pleasure. And I will see you back here next week. You will see me next week, rather, when we go ahead and examine the top of the love energy for you for the month of September. That's going to take you from the 1st through the 15th. Okay, Taurus, it's always a pleasure. Namaste.